How's it going everyone? Again, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and go over a tutorial on how to add an equalizer to your iMac, MacBook Pro, uh, or um, and basically your MacBook Air and so forth, the other lineups. Okay, this equalizer will improve the sound or it can improve the sound of your current iMac or MacBook device. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first off, I will provide the link down below so you can download it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and present it really quick. So the name of the application is going to be called EQ Mac 2. Um, EQ Mac 2 is the equalizer software you can download uh, completely free. It's free and an open source. And um, lots of credit to uh, the developer of this. Um, as you can see right here, you can see Equalizer Mac 2 uh, has a lot of feature updates and it's completely free, okay? So you guys don't forget to go ahead and donate uh, if you like, uh, because this really is amazing. Uh, even if you have external speakers, uh, this will dramatically improve the output of the sound, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And so I already have downloaded mine and let me just go ahead and go a little bit overview of this application. First up, we see here on my top that I do have it downloaded. You know, once you have it downloaded, uh, make sure you go to your launch pad, make sure you see the Equalizer Mac 2. There you go. And after you do so, then you're gonna go ahead and go over and click out. And you should be able to see it on your notification bar. So it's like the letter M. And so once you click on it, then um, we will go ahead and see uh, the customization. Now, it starts off as, as flat when you download it, and, and you can also go ahead and hit custom. Now, if you really want to go ahead and further expand the sound of the volume, you can go ahead and increase the bands. Okay, so here you go, where it says 31 bands. Wow, there you go. So, there it is. You can increase the amount, amount as much as bands you like and customize it your way. You have the balance on the bottom. You can balance the right, uh, left to right or right or left. Um, you also have the volume. You have the built-in output, multi-output device as well, which I haven't used. Um, and then you can decrease this back to 10 bands. You can also check for updates as well. And you can show the default presets. You can launch on startup if you like, which in this case I do. Okay. So um, if you want to go ahead and quit, you can go ahead and quit it and, and stick with the normal one, or you can go ahead and install it as well. Now uh, this, I do have an iMac 5K, so the speakers here um, are great, but I can also increase it to even sound even better. Uh, now remember one thing, anyone that uses this, uh, please be careful on how you use this and to increase the bass. Um, that's what I've done when it comes to the kind of music I listen to. <laughs> so just make sure you be careful not to overdo it on your speed. So I pulled up here a video and let's put that equalizer real quick. But let's play it first, okay? Here we go. Okay, you guys can hear it. Here we go. So you can hear it. There you go, size. It does. You can see. You can hear the actual difference um, that it's making. So there you go, guys. Uh, don't forget again to uh, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, keep up in supporting my channel. I will present more tutorials. Uh, this actual equalizer is the one I was trying to look for a long time. To be quite honest, as to I want to go ahead and improve the sound of my speakers. Now, for the lineup of the I'm iMac Pro, or for those of you that actually have an iMac Pro, um, they're having better speakers, but can you just imagine how much better it would sound with this equalizer? So the possibilities here are endless and customizable, okay? 
Again, my name is Alex. Thanks again for watching this, and we'll see you on the next one.